Hi God, thanks for the shine. Hello people, I'm one of the people. Let's hang out. But before we go, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We're gonna take a sip and then we're gonna hop off on this bit, man. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you something. It's just gonna, this one's gonna open up your mind, man. So hold on, let me take a sip. Yeah, that's that hot water, that apple cider vinegar that vitamin c and then i put some nitric oxide in there and then i have some honey man that's what's up okay you know so check this out so before i even do this bit you know um shout out to my coach david jose man help thanks thanks bro you set me up on this one right here too bro you know so <clears throat> let me lay this down real quick man you know so so like I am what you call a new Christian, right? You know, I follow Christ, you know, that's all I do. That's all I do until father taps me out, man. You know, so, so like I get out there, you know, and then I like to meet people and I like to talk with people and then I, I like to see what's going on with the people, right? You know, but father has given me an ability you know father has given me an ability to instruct with simplicity i've been doing this my whole life you know i've been doing it since i've been in the military you know when i was teaching people how to be a body man and then i was teaching people how to do the surgeries you know i've just been doing this my whole life man you know is that i always like to make really complex things really super simple right you know that's why i used to get a lot of beef you know with people in the medical industry is because i used to simplify the the doctors right i used to simplify the doctors all the way down to what it was that their word doctor doctore meant what mean, means to teach right you know so doctors are supposed to teach the people about their body and about how to be healthy right you know and then they would never do that you know they would always talk to them about process and procedure and about the things that they can do to get that money from them but you know that was just a game that you know father was set me up with a long time ago and then now you know now i work for my father right you know my father is god okay that's what's up you know my brother is christ my bridegroom is christ my husband is jesus christ okay don't get butt hurt because i'm a man man because i I married Jesus, right? You know, that's why I rock around with this with this ring right here. You know, it's because I got one ring for my wife and then I got one ring for Jesus Christ. Why? Because before I married my wife, I married Jesus Christ, okay? You know, so, <laughs> so that's the business that I'm a part of because Jesus grafted me into Father's business, okay? You know, so now, let me get back on my point, you know, so like when I'm out there and then, and then I'm talking, you know, like because back in the day, I used to try to talk to all of my friends because I, I could show my friends some things that would help them save a lot of money. You know, none of my friends wanted to listen to me because all of my friends thought that I was crazy because all of this was going down during the times of the Rona. OK, you know, so basically what I was trying to do with my friends is that I was trying to get them to come hang out with me in the private, you know, so then that way I can show them some wonderful things and then that way we can help save them their wealth okay that's all we tried to do but none of our friends wanted to listen okay you know so I'm still going on on this journey right now to this day because that's what I do for father's business is that I'm supposed to teach I'm supposed to instruct it's real simple right you know but it's a fun game for me because I got to figure out how to get into people's heads and how to get into people's minds you know so what we see sorry about the airplane you know there's an airport over here you know, so so what we see right now is that we got the men and we got the women. They love sh follow. They love following shiny men. They love following shiny women. Okay, they love following celebrity. That's what they love to do. You know, so like I can lay out the same thing that another man or another woman who's a so-called celebrity is telling you, but because I look the way that I look and I'm not a celebrity, you know, and I don't have alphabets behind my name or credentials behind my name. I just have God. You know, is that you know people don't want to hear what it is I gotta say you know so I know that that's just you know these are just the seeds that I'm sowing right now you know but in, in due season and whenever father says yo it's on you know it's gonna be on and I'm not worried about it because father has given me a forever job right you know so like I used to wonder what I was gonna do when I was old and I was gonna retire and then now I just know that I'm gonna be teaching until father taps me out and I'm fine with that and the reason being too is because all of the forgotten children lack knowledge Sorry, it's just real simple. You know, they don't know they don't know who they are, they don't know what they are, they don't know how the order of the realm is. You know, they always listening to shiny people. 
right? They always listening to shiny men and shiny women who lead them astray. And then they take them someplace else and then they get them all tricked out and they get them all turned out, man. You know, it's almost like Pleasure Island from Pinocchio, okay? You know, so I want to show you something right here. You know, so this is, so when people want to say, who do you think you are, right? You know, I'm telling you, I am a man of God. I am a man of Christ. I follow God and I follow Christ, man. Scary simple, as written. Where do I get my words from? Holy Bible, King James Version, right? You know, so like when people say, well, let me see your credentials. And then, you know, you look behind them, you know, and then they have like a, a degree that comes from some type of school, you know, that people are like, oh, I like that school. You know, I don't do that. You know, I don't do that. I just get down with what the words and how the words are written, man. Scary, simple service, right? You know, so we got this bit right here where it says, do you love Father God, okay? And then it says, my Father's business, okay? You know, so Jesus was showing us what we had to do with Father's business a long time ago, and you can see it as written in the Holy Bible, right? You know, so I'm going to show you something right here, man. So this bit right here is called Jesus Gives the Great Commission. All right, that's that Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, okay? You know, so this resonates with me is because I was once in the military, right? You know, and I understood what it means to be commissioned, right? When you get commissioned, that means that you become an officer. I was what you would call an enlisted man. Why? Because I went, I went straight out of high school and then I went into the military, you know, and I went into the military to get some order and to get some skills. And then they gave me some orders and they gave me some skills. It was really cool. Father was looking out for me all the way back then, right? You know, so, <clears throat> so now I understand what it is that I'm supposed to do for father's business and father tells us as clear as day what it is that we're supposed to do in the bible so check these out this is what we're all all men all women we're supposed to do for father's business okay you know so if you think that you won't be able to get out there and earn what you call ducats and things like that that's not true right you know because father has a business and within father's business there's all sorts of skills that you need to have there's all sorts of services that you need to have right so everything that you see in the civilian realm everything that you see in the military realm everything that you see other corporations and other entities doing we can do the same thing in father's business, okay? It's real simple, okay? You know, so if you need people who are in the health, right, then you get those health people. If you need people who are just in the business, then you get those business people, right? You know, that's all we need, right? So we need men and we need women who need to come over and help us build father's business, okay? It's real simple, okay? So let me show you what's up right here, okay? So check this out. This is building block 18. I'm gonna read this one straight through. It says, and Jesus, thank you, Jesus, and Jesus came and spoke spake he spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth okay all power is given to jesus okay you know check out 19 go ye look at his command go ye therefore and teach all nations repeat go ye that's you you know that's that's plural you go ye go ye therefore and teach all nations that means show all the nations okay you know baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, okay? That's what we're supposed to do, okay? It says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, that's show all nations, right? And baptize them, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, okay? Drop down, check out 20. Teaching them, that means showing them, okay? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Okay, remember that. And what did he command us to do? You know, love. Okay, love all our neighbors. You know, love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Love all your neighbors like you love God. Follow God's commandments, man. It's so simple. You know, a dummy like me can do it, okay? You know, so check this out. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you all way, even unto the end of the the world amen okay you know so we like that bit right there is because we always know we're not by ourselves, man you know so even when people don't want to listen to us and then people think that we don't know what it is that we're talking about or people think that we don't interpret the words as written as how they're supposed to be right you know it's just like yo i don't care you guys did this to my lord you guys did this to my savior right when my lord my savior jesus christ came down and he tried to show you guys how to be in love right you know you hated him you hated him right you hated 
hated him so much that you killed him, right? And then he was like, yo, I'm going to take it for the team because I know that this is getting ready to happen because it's written, okay? So he knew he knew how to go out, right? He knew how to go out like a boss, and he knew that he was going to pay for it for everyone, right? You know, and, and now we get to stand on Jesus. So we get to stand in Jesus and under Jesus because that's our boss, okay? You know, that's who we serve. That's where we get our authority from. We get our authority from Jesus Christ, okay? You know, so like a lot of other men and a lot of other women out there like to think that they get their authority from the government. That's not how it goes, okay? The way that the game goes is you got God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, okay? Creator creates creation, okay? They created man, and then they created woman, and then they created children, and then they created the people, and then the people created everything else. And then the people have a duty and an obligation to oversee the whole garden, okay? That's what we're supposed to do, right? You know, so when you get butt hurt when a man like me or a woman comes and we're from Christ and we're trying to show you guys what's up as written and you don't want to listen because you would much rather listen to pretty people, you're going to get turned out, you're going to get tricked out, and then you're probably going to have your property taken from you because them just be the rules to the game, man. You know, you you know, you know, got to give to Caesar what is Caesar's and you got to give to God's what is God's, man. You know, it's, it's just really that simple, right? And if you can see what we're saying and hear what we're saying, you're going to be free, right? And then until then, you know, you're not going to be free and you're always going to be beheld and to serve the master that you choose to serve, right? Most people love to serve Mamon, right? You know, they love to serve those riches and they love to serve that game, man. You know, we don't like to do that. We serve Father God. We serve Jesus Christ. We serve Holy Ghost, all right? You know, by default, we got to get out there and serve all the men and all the women, all right? Period. The end. That's what we do, okay? You know, so drop down. We're going to show you another building block, 35B. B is in Bravo. It says, let everyone employ himself in what he knows, okay? Remember this and you're going to be cool, okay? You know, so just don't think that you need to get a little piece of paper. Like if you don't know what the law is, you better get your little piece of paper and you better you better put yourself under the codes and the statutes that allow you to do what you can do, because that's how we the people have set up our realm. Right. You know, is that if you don't know who who God is and if you don't know who Christ is and if you don't know who Holy Ghost is. Right. Then you are subject to our governments. OK, you will always be subject to our governments because that's how we keep the realm straight. Right. And we the people have a duty and an obligation to oversee our government immense because we created them to help us keep the realm straight okay that's what we did all right but just know that the people are separate the people are set apart god's people are set apart god's people are private god's people don't fall into the jurisdiction of the constitutions god's people create the words as written within the constitutions because we copy what god told us to do okay love all right so check this out question this is what we love to do right you know we love to send questions out there this is the same thing that attorneys do when they go to trial or before they go to trial is that they try to ask the questions so then that way they can see what the facts are as written right you know so we always throw these questions out there to the men and to the women to the people out there to see what type of knowledge you have right and we know most of you don't have that knowledge because most of you get turned out because most of you are subject to the statutory creatures man not us okay so check this out <clears throat> question as written under God under the people are the people subject to constitutional entities question mark yes or no show the people your knowledge okay you know so so these are for all the people out there that we just love we love to ask the questions we want to know do you know what you know right and then most of you don't know what you know because we know most of you are turned out because we know that you serve Caesar, okay? You know, so we're done with that bit, man. How are we doing on time? We're cool on time. You know, <clears throat> please forgive my throat because I'm getting over this little sickness, right? You know, but it's just going to be cracky right now, man. It's that, it's that time stamp. Let me remember, too. Let me take a sip. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, this is my first talkie, too, since the cold, all right? All right, here we go. Let's go on our closeout game right here. Closeout game. Remember the order, okay? You got God, you got Jesus Christ, you got Holy Ghost. Remember this, okay? You know, you got creator, creates creation. Remember this, okay? 
people create the bank table okay remember the bank is the table the table is the bank the bank and the table is the board right you know the board is where the people put people in in order for them to administer the people's business all right it's really that simple once you understand this you're going to be cool you're going to be free and we the people have a duty and an obligation to oversee all of our boards therefore <clears throat> we the people have a duty and obligation to oversee all of our banks we the people have a duty and an obligation to oversee all of our tables right we haven't been doing that because we've been listening to so-called attorneys right you know so the so-called attorneys have been whispering in the people's ear turning the people out man that's not happening anymore not on our watch because we got that great commission the great commission to get out there and teach okay and that's why we're trying to show you the law right we show you the law because the law comes from the bible holy bible king james version and then we show you the constitutions okay and then we show you the little codes and the statutes that our little public servants have created in order for them to operate in okay you know that's how how it goes man it's not it's so simple you know a caveman can do it but because you guys think that you have to have an alphabet behind your name or you have to be a shiny man or a shiny woman one of the pretty people you know who have all the so-called followers behind them right you guys are gonna get turned out and you're gonna get tricked out man it's so simple remember it's so simple just follow god right follow god follow christ follow holy ghost follow what is written and then the rules are written in the holy bible king james version man it's so simple come up under that jurisdiction man and then you're gonna have some fun all right <clears throat> all right let's keep it going all right building block 17 observations about life proverbs 27 17 king james version that's what's up all right here we go we love this one right here iron sharpeneth iron repeat iron sharpeneth iron who sharpens me jesus christ okay the words sharpen me okay you know the words sharpen me and i love getting sharp by the words because then i get out there and i get to go and i get to test other people's words and i get to look at them in their eyes and i get to see do they know what they know or do they just go blah 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 most people just go blah 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 right and they don't want to hear and they don't want to see and that's why they're going to get turned out and that's why they're going to get led astray okay you know not on our watch all right so check this out we work for father right we're in father's business right here remember we're set apart we're separate we're private okay we're not public all right you know so check this out so a man you know sharpeneth the countenance of his friend okay that's that behavior whose behavior do we mirror jesus christ you know we'll never be like jesus because jesus is perfect okay you know but we know who we have to follow and we know how we have to follow and he told us to get out there and love man it's so simple and love means to care and love means desire and desire means coming from the stars all right remember this and you're gonna be free all right so check this out drop down we got that mission that mission is what we send and what we throw we throw out the words for the people to see and hear all right you know so let's check this out it says if you wish to be boss people and help and instruct then click link in the description thanks for listening done simple love man you know so if you want to hang out with us in the private you know not the public and you want to come together and you want to consult for the common good and you want to sit down and see what kind of skills you have and then you want to help us get out there and instruct all of our public servants so that that way they don't mess with the people you know come hang out with us <clears throat> click that link in that description and then fill out that information and then say yo i want to hang out okay you know but until then man you know just keep doing you man <clears throat> keep doing you and then just know that there's an order in this realm there's a hierarchy in this realm okay there's so many different jurisdictions out there that you don't know who you are and you don't know what you are you're gonna get turned out unless you know who you are and you know what you are until then you know just take care of yourself okay follow the rules as written okay you know and the rules are always going to be written in the holy bible king james version okay remember that all right and you're going to be free all right so we're done we're going to put this together we're going to upload it we're going to see how it flows. I'll talk to you guys in the future. Remember, nobody's having more fun than us. Bye. Let's put some